to. Uh, so Maro, you did the recording after all. I'm very, very happy to be here. And it's um, always a pleasure to cooperate uh, with um, uh, Maro Gimacchiotti, uh, who is uh, the leader of us all uh, here in Greece, in the Udic Greece. And um, uh, she's uh, also uh, uh, such an uh, uh, important uh, uh, part of this uh, whole organization of the Summer Hill um, uh, Festival. And um, I really have to say that Summer Hill has always been an inspiration for me. And uh, that's why I uh, really keep uh, learning uh, by uh, being together uh, with uh, Henry and uh, uh, everyone else. And it's um, always uh, a pleasure, uh, I have to say again, to listen to new ideas and be able to share um, our experiences from schools here in Greece. Uh, that have to do with uh, democratic education and uh, rhetoric in education. Uh, so my name is Valen Trianaki, as um, uh, you can all see. I'm an educator and I work uh, for the past 21 years uh, in a private school of Athens. And uh, I'm also uh, in a, a group uh, called uh, the Hellenic Association for uh, promoting rhetoric in uh, uh, education. Uh, we are a group of educators and uh, academics uh, and uh, students from universities from all around Greece. And um, what we try to do is to uh, promote uh, the, the art of uh, communication, uh, the art of uh, being uh, uh, an effective uh, communicator and uh, a part of a team uh, that um, is uh, based on exchanging ideas, emotions, and um, everything that is important. We're also, I'm, I'm also very, very interested in the creative thinking and um, education uh, based on imagination and um, how all of this can actually uh, be used to promote active citizenship. So um, we will discuss today how uh, we can uh, choose uh, various, uh, um, uh, various exercises and activities in order to promote um, active citizenship uh, along with uh, oral speech and creative thinking. So, um, well, before uh, getting to know each other, and uh, giving maybe some time um, to someone else who wants to, uh, who's, who's trying to wake up and <laughs> uh, comes and come with us. And um, let's share some uh, uh, thoughts along with our name uh, on this picture. From one side, we have that little guy that says what society wants me to think. And um, from the other side, we have another guy that says what I really think. We can share uh, in the chat, we can just open our uh, microphone. Well, let's take one or two uh, minutes to think and see what the difference, what that difference means to us and um, how we, uh, we've we um, lived with this uh, difference maybe as kids and maybe now as parents or educators or uh, professionals, whatever. Let's take one or two minutes. You can always keep some notes, some words that are important that come to your mind uh, when you check these two images. <laughs> you are the little of the leader of our hearts, Maro. You can always use the annotation tools also later on. Joanna, Joanna, welcome. 
we're doing Ambalia. And we're doing, we have begun with some thinking on uh, and ready to talk about this um, um, image and share some ideas. What does this mean to us? What we did, uh, does this make us feel? How is this, um, how have we uh, experienced these two images in our lives, in our schools, whatever? Okay, so um, let me begin by sharing that um, this is something I've lived. Uh, uh, the guy on the um, uh, on the left uh, is uh, maybe me uh, when I was at school uh, in a traditional school um, that actually always um, made me think in a very uh, non-creative way and uh, in a way that actually made me uh, feel that there is no uh, answer uh, B, there's always one correct answer. And um, luckily enough, uh, growing, I was um, able to uh, discover many things uh, and many um, persons inspired me uh, to think differently and in colors. I believe that the child um, uh, on the right is the child I, I would like to, to be. Um, and uh, what I'm trying to be now uh, as an educator, um, uh, full of colors, uh, full of uh, uh, um, uh, thinking, a way of thinking that um, reminds us of a rainbow that makes us feel alive, makes us feel that what we uh, feel and what we uh, think um, can always be something that is reviving and um, alive. I, I like this word. Uh, and I really wish that this kid over there um, is always one of our students. Thank you. Maria, if you're ready, <laughs> if you want to share. Of course. Uh, upon, in the second image, okay, I am thinking uh, life as is with uh, all the plethora of images and sounds, feelings that are being created via, via them. Uh, I am also using my imagination to think and create e e images that are not existing, uh, but I can create them because my imagination has no boundaries. And uh, the first um, image, I, <laughs> um, they are pro they pro I feel that I am provoked to have boundaries. And uh, yeah, this is school. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, yes, yes. And without colors, mm -hmm. without feelings. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I totally understand you. Uh, Donaina, are you with us? Can you talk? Mara, I know that you're going around with uh, other um, rooms and everything, so I'm, I'm not asking you. No, no, you. I'm here. There are no other rooms now for me. I'm here just for you. Yes, but I don't want to make you play if you have, you're so tired <laughs> all these days. But you can share with us uh, just uh, um, two or three thoughts for this image if uh, you, you, you're in this. Uh, Janaina, are you with us? She's uh, writing something. She wrote ah, something. she's writing, okay, sorry. Let me see um, the chat. Yes, Janaina. Um, it's too sad to say how traditional education um, limits the children in so many senses. Yes, it's all about limitations. It's all about um, being uh, restricted maybe. Uh, it's all about having a way of thinking that um, doesn't let you be yourself. I agree with you. Maro, you wanna share or later? 
But I was just thinking that uh, this festival made me realize that the situation in education, it's the same almost all over the world. It's not only in my country like this. <laughs> this is kind of sad. Yeah. The well, thing that's is, not good. what society wants you to think when you're at school, then you, you go into this pattern and you stay there for the rest of your life. And even as an adult, you are then restricted and it's very difficult to connect with who you really are and what you really think mm -hmm. when you're free. Exactly, exactly. Um, well, and um, what we are trying to do in the democratic education, it's not just um, cultivating uh, imagination or letting uh, kids uh, uh, think uh, in a free way of thinking uh, and uh, uh, generally uh, being themselves. It's all about changing attitudes and uh, uh, changing attitudes, not only of, uh, of kids, but also of their parents, of their grandparents, maybe, uh, and um, uh, generally of um, uh, the whole society that not that that actually feels um, and that kids um, aren't ready to be active citizens, aren't ready to um, promote their thinking, uh, and uh, maybe aren't uh, worth listening to. Um, well, the truth is that when someone is uh, properly educated as a kid, um, he or she can actually uh, not only be an active citizen uh, in the school, in society and everywhere, but can actually help um, even uh, his or her family um, uh, go on much more effectively and uh, be a real active um, part of everything that's happening around him and around her. So um, we were, uh, well, maybe we'll come later on to this uh, image and see it uh, once more. Um, uh, just want to share before doing some uh, games of uh, for getting to know each other and uh, team games. Um, uh, it's all about uh, competencies. And um, here we can uh, actually uh, see the, uh, the framework uh, for competencies of democratic culture of um, the Council of Europe. Uh, it's something that gets together, brings together um, the 21st century's um, uh, skills and uh, other uh, frameworks. Um, and we have actually uh, seen it uh, together with uh, uh, Maro in uh, a three day um, uh, workshop that uh, happened two years ago here in Greece uh, by the Council of Europe. And um, it made us realize uh, that we have a long way to go if we want to actually to have a democratic culture all around us, not just in schools, because um, kids and schools aren't something separate, aren't something that it's cut from the rest of our society. And so it's about um, getting uh, kids um, knowing all these uh, competencies and trying to cultivate the most of them and um, seeing what they already have and what they can do better, what we can all do better and share all of this um, uh, with uh, their family, their teams and everyone else. So just let's pick up a competence that we think we are very strong to. Check these values uh, and uh, uh, skills, knowledge, and uh, way of acting, can we choose one that we think we are great at and share it? Let's take one minute to think. Which is our uh, speciality? <laughs> Which uh, competence we think we are best? Mm -hmm. It's attitudes up there, values, skills, knowledge, and critical understanding. Check out the values and skills, of course. We always talk about skills here in Greece. We have these skill labs that have uh, begun and we are all into them. But how can we really make a difference in all of this?
So um, uh, let me begin and say that my speciality maybe is um, cooperation skills. I really feel that I am into um, cooperating effectively with people and it's um, very important uh, to me uh, to do this people matching, getting people together and um, making them a team and being also me myself a part of this team um, that cooperates effectively, communicates, um, comes up with ideas and everything and uh, brings project uh, to brings projects to life. So I would say that my special competence um, is cooperation skills. Someone else who wants to share? Maria? We have to choose one. <laughs> ah, well, just one for, for beginning. Bon, uh, flexibility and adaptability, I would say, from skills. Mm -hmm. is my basic competence, I would say, also skills of listening and observing. And, um, I think that they are going together, these three, with the empathy between them. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, because it's the, almost the story of my life, because I, I, uh, I think that I am trying a, a lot to, um, to listen to the other points of, of view and um, uh, be flexible and uh, at the end try to collaborate with, uh, with, uh, with others. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is the book. Okay, the yes. yes, great. Uh, Junaina, you can write us, you can uh, tell us uh, now or later if you're ready. Okay, maybe she can um, talk right now. Well, it's not easy. It's not easy to actually to see what we can uh, uh, get, uh, come up with. Um, and um, it's very, very important uh, that uh, we are all ready to, uh, to realize what we can do better. So let's see what we can do better. Can we choose now uh, a competence that we think we are not really good at? We don't really have it. And we should, we could, um, we would really, uh, love to become better too. Let's check out which competence would be that. If we have an A to everything, then we are gods, maybe. Well, some of these, uh, we can actually describe them as something else, another way. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. well, I would say that um, self-efficacy, and I'm not really sure what this, uh, how this is um, described, um, but um, um, I really feel that sometimes I just can't say no. So uh, maybe if this is a way of uh, describing that I would uh, um, really uh, love to be more um, uh, efficient and uh, uh, in uh, the way I am programming and organizing um, not only everyday responsibilities, but also uh, general, uh, generally uh, what I uh, try to uh, make happen. Uh, yes, I would like to be uh, more well um, uh, organized. Well, I can organize, but it's more like 
self uh, organizing uh, that I would like to be come better to. Yes, um, generally, well, I feel like uh, in all other competencies, I'm not uh, at my best, but I'm trying to. Uh, Maria? Ιδιαίτερο, έτσι. Ναι, τώρα ξέρεις, είναι η στιγμή της αλήθειας. Αν και ξέρεις, και εγώ νιώθω, I feel in everything okay, but I will try. We can drink a coffee to discuss about these things. Your coffee is absolutely necessary. Ah, Mara, you're back. Yeah. And we have a new participant, Marina. Ah, and let me see here. Welcome, Marina. Kalimera, hello. Hello, hello. Well, we're trying, it's the, the moment of the truth that you caught us here. And we were trying to see which one of these competencies for democratic culture uh, we are um, a specialist to, and which others uh, we're not that good at. Well, if you can uh, pick up two and share with us in one, two minutes, that would be great. Maria is still trying to find what she's not no, good no, at. I, too many. <laughs> oh, come on now. I don't think so. But I will say linguistic communicative and plurilingual skills, pointing more mm -hmm. the plurilingual skills. Um, and uh, knowledge and critical understanding of uh, the world at some point. Uh, I, I re, I, it's a really important skill to have for me, okay? And this is why I, I am choosing it because I would really, really like to be better on this. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I, I am in the world of the communication. I, I, I'm doing radio programs. So I really like to communicate with people what I want to say, but if, if, if I am missing this, it's a problem, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, okay, yes, yes, but it's, uh, it's not uh, difficult, uh, and since you're in this, uh, um, in this profession, um, you can actually, you, you, I don't, you're very good in uh, communicating, uh, and generally, yes, we can by, uh, keep exercising ourselves, so we can uh, exactly. really become better listeners and um, everything. Okay. Uh, there, there is where I need the autonomous learning skills, which I already <laughs> have also. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, that's all. Okay, okay, great. Let's Thank leave you. someone else to talk. Yes. Uh, Maro, Marina, Danaina, you want to you wanna share? Which skill? Let me see someone is writing at the chat. Sorry for not. Okay. Uh, can I? Can I? Sure. Okay, for no, me. No, no, uh, I'm listening. Oh, okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, from the skills we have to choose, <coughs> we choose two which we think we have. That's the question. Mm -hmm. I would say I have flexibility and adaptability, <laughs> and I also have empathy. Mm -hmm. For the knowledge and critical understanding, I would very much like to have everything, of course. <laughs> But I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I think I don't have anything in where I should have it. But um, I would choose the second one. I think this is my strongest point. Mm -hmm. Great, Maro. And uh, Marina, if you're ready. I could say that uh, I have uh, empathy from skills and uh, co cooperation skills. And I think that uh, these skills are uh, very important to uh, cultivate it to our students too, mm -hmm. especially in uh, kindergarten where I teach. Um, also, I think that uh, respect and responsibility are very important if we want to live uh, in a world where we will uh, cooperate with uh, others. Mm -hmm. And uh, from knowledge and critical understanding, I think that uh, uh, we have uh, work to do on this. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, they are very important, but 
uh, things uh, change very uh, in very uh, fast ways. Sorry about mm -hmm. my English. And uh, we have to. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, promote, make better. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Great, great. I yes. agree with you. <laughs> I totally agree with you. So um, let's move on to um, uh, doing some. Uh, uh, we'll come back later in this uh, discussion of uh, competencies and what we can do. Uh, just wanted to uh, share with uh, one minute with uh, Marina, who wasn't here before, uh, we, were, we were discussing, keep this uh, image to your mind, uh, um, uh, Marina, we were discussing uh, this uh, at the beginning, uh, what may, how, how it grew up and um, what uh, maybe is in our minds uh, now uh, as adults, what we, which one of these two guys we would like to see um, in uh, new generations. And um, what's going on, what's not going uh, okay out there? And uh, still there are people that don't, uh, aren't, we don't let them think in that way. Uh, keep this in mind, we'll come back to this um, later on. Uh, we will, let's share now, uh, I will give um, three different uh, um, personal uh, self-presentation games. And you can choose, um, well, which one of this, well, whoever this you like. So the first one is you are in Noe's, in Noe's, Noe's, I think it's written like that, Noe, Noe, in Noe's arc. Um, how? It's uh, imagine that outside it's all uh, becoming black, it's beginning to rain, it's beginning to uh, be um, an absolute disaster, and the only way to save yourself is to get in Noe's arc. How can you persuade him to meet you with him? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's all about it's it's a matter it's a matter of uh, life and death. Uh, so you have to uh, get, prepare your own personal ticket to this noise arc. Um, what will you write in on this ticket? Uh, prepare, draw, you can draw, you can write anything, draw your ticket. You can do this, get your um, pens, uh, if you have with you or just a pencil and draw this ticket. What would you draw on that? It could be a word, it could be a whole phrase, it could be a drawing, a sketch, something. So you can either do this, or you can also uh, give us an imaginary, um, how can we say first um, cover, an imaginary cover of Time or other magazine. magazine um, with you on it. How? Why? Why would you be uh, on the cover of a magazine uh, or a newspaper or whatever? Um, which is uh, not only for accomplishment, this would be an imaginary uh, now or, uh, for example, 20 years later. You can draw it also. If you want something shorter, just give us a sun, and the, the third you can choose from is. Uh, uh, so uh, the sun, the circle sun, you can just uh, draw a circle, a sun, whatever you want to call this. Let me see what it is. The circle uh, oh, sun of me. And uh, in the, you can draw a, a sun and write uh, all around 
uh, 10 words or 10 adjectives that describe you. Okay, let's take uh, three, four minutes. You can choose uh, one of these three self-presentation activities and present this to us all. Three minutes from now. Mm -hmm. Well, I will draw a ticket. One more minute. If I push you, just tell me. You can draw the imaginary cover if someone is asking me. You can make it as a, if it is um, something that uh, you weren't expecting, maybe, but it happened because someone came out and said, yes, you should be in that cover. So it's not about making uh, us uh, feel some, somehow uh, or that we uh, talk too much of ourselves. It's about thinking of how we imagine or, and how we see ourselves at the moment. Don't forget to write your name in all three. Okay, okay, let me begin. 
and you can, as I'm watching also the time that's uh, passing. Uh, well, well, I have prepared uh, an imaginary cover of educational news or something like that. Well, it's me over there with a team all around me. And it says, Valer uh, Lutranaki, the teacher uh, who never talks. Uh, because it's maybe, I, I'm always trying to um, give uh, my students control of everything that's happening. And um, I'm really, really trying to talk as little as possible and uh, encourage them uh, to, to talk as much as possible. Um, so if someone would be interested in covering uh, what I'm doing, um, maybe he or she would, uh, the, would choose a, a title uh, like that. And the image would be me with um, uh, in a circle of um, uh, students uh, doing uh, anything uh, from ancient Greek uh, to um, uh, rhetoric or creative thinking. Thank you. Someone else? Is someone else ready? Okay, that's a big cover then. I, I cheated a bit in this exercise. I had my son describe me. Will that oh. work? <laughs> okay. It doesn't work. Spell it out, Maro. So what I are put you? it in the chat. I put it in the chat, but I have okay. this. Uh -huh. This is will, what uh, my son thinks of me. Okay, don't you think that it's me thinking of me? <laughs> oh come on! Yes, you are. That's why I, I said that it's not about um, uh, how do we say making uh, kind of uh, showing off. It's not about showing off. It's about describing and being um, uh, real about ourselves. So, yes, you're beautiful, you're smart, you're brave, you're a diplomat, you're a leader, you're compassionate, agile, and that's from your son, that's good, organizing, a doer, and an optimist. Oh, Maro, yes. Thank you. But it's, a good, it's a good thing to know that your 17-year-old son sees you like this, you know. It's very yeah, lifting. That's important, and that would be great also uh, as an activity to ask for someone else to do this son, circle son of you with the 10 words that describe you. Maria, do I know if you're ready? Mm, I have a, a, a circle. A circle also. No one is getting that Noah's Ark. <laughs> Why? It's, it's okay. It's okay. I am. Okay. Janaina is in the Noah's Ark. <laughs> yes, Janaina, you're, you're ready for Noah's Ark? Well, be careful because Noah, and that would be me, um, maybe will make your life difficult, but it's okay. So you want to, uh, sorry, after Maria. Maria? No, no, please, Janaina. Ah, Janaina, yes. Sorry, Maria, I, I just dropped in because she said nobody chose um, yes, <laughs> Noah. Okay. So, no, you <laughs> have to why, but, but you have please time. Uh, okay. take, take the stage if you want. Uh, I can wait. <laughs> okay. So, Denaya, yes. why are you going into Noah's Ark? Uh, why? Oh, that wasn't the question. <laughs> ah, how? How? Yes. Uh, how? Right. Sorry. Um, I, I I didn't draw any tickets. I have an imaginary okay. ticket that I'm giving to you because if mm -hmm. I draw something or if I say something, that that narrows your your idea of me and my idea of what I can do. So mm -hmm. I'm just coming in with this in my in my mind, this imaginary ticket. And I think it's a, it's a matter of trust. Trust. You can trust I can I can be there. You have you can have empathy. For me, it can be there, you can accept me there or not, but I don't have to persuade you to, to get me into the arc. That's how I see it. Okay, okay, thank you. Great. Thank you, <laughs> that's good, that's good. It's, it's good to be uh, uh, sure that we can do it and uh, have all this um, uh, way of uh, thinking and uh, acting and uh, self-presenting -present, um, presentation, which is actually a very, very important skill. We will 
talk about this afterwards. Uh, Anna Maria? I have words uh, noted down. Uh, should I write, write them or just uh, share my screen? Yeah, or, sure. Or not share my screen, I mean show it here. Yeah, okay, that's beautiful. Just uh, yeah. read them. It's uh -huh. uh, active listener, empathetic, dynamic, optimistic, uh, cooker. I can cook mm -hmm. for, the, for the others, uh, sensitive. Empathetic, I don't know if I told that. Uh, attentive, calm, doer. That's all. Okay, that's not. Uh, <laughs> that's, not um, that's many things. That's good. So, um, self presentation, self presenting ourselves, uh, is much more than just uh, um, uh, thinking and doing this as an activity. It's about self knowledge. And this is uh, from where all uh, is uh, beginning to be an active citizen. Uh, because if you know who you are, if you know what you can do, then uh, you are ready to cooperate and get and bring inside your team uh, what you really can do to enrich also the others, but also what you can't do in order to get it from the others. Uh, so when we do this team working and team building um, uh, activities and uh, uh, and all these efforts um, what we actually have to do is know who we are and what we can do and it's so it doesn't happen of course in 10 minutes or in 20 minutes or with one activity but when we work in teams and if we want these teams to be able to cooperate in order to do many many more things then we should work absolutely on self-knowledge because from self-knowledge comes everything. Can you please just share if you want a, a thought on what self-knowledge means to you? It's a real conversation with yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's not always easy. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> because you have to be very, very open. So um, let's move on to uh, something else. Uh, let's say that in uh, well, there are phones ringing everywhere. Yes, sir. Let's, let's, no, 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 it's, it's my phone. <laughs> well, there, the, in the last uh, seven days, there were many days uh, that, uh, for example, the hard day, or yesterday it was uh, grandparents' day. And all days makes us think uh, um, that something is important uh, to talk about. So let's spend uh, 10 minutes in uh, this uh, activity, this group activity, that can uh, bring up also our um, way of thinking, uh, our active citizenship, uh, and uh, get us also in thinking together creatively, and also communicating effectively. Um, which is, uh, let's, let's begin with one, I can't stand. Just, can we all think something that we can't stand? Let's, it can't be a person, but it's better not to be that. I can't stand, what? What you can't stand? What you really uh, feel like you don't want? to be there in the world, around you, in your house, in your family, in your friends. What is this? Is this a, a way of thinking, a way of acting, something? Let's think for 30 seconds. What is that we can't stand at all? Mm, many it things has to be only to one. We're talking <laughs> about only one That's thing. Why many things come to me, but yes, just one. You can uh, take the, you can also uh, write it here. I think you can do this. You can write this. Choose your color. I think you can all write, you can all use the pen to write on the whiteboard. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Yes, Donaina, you can use this. Okay, someone else wants to write, wants to say. Well, I have uh, written people who are talking without saying something because I really can't stand them. And uh, when they actually um, act as they are doing something, well, it's, I don't know, <laughs> it's really hard for me uh, to, to deal with them. Um, and I'm just trying to close my ears and never come back again. Someone else? Injustice. I think if I had to say only one thing, there are a lot, but I think the most important for me is that. Mm -hmm. Injustice. Injustice. I'm writing that also uh, down. And what is that you can stand, uh, Maria? Give me one minute because I was talking to the phone. Yes, yes, yes. I have to get in, in justice, Romaro. Donaina, if you can tell us, I will write this down. Wrote guilty. Somebody wrote guilty. Was that Donaina? Uh, I, I wrote uh, cruelty in the uh, in the board, but I don't know if everyone can see it. Ah, cruelty. <laughs> yes. From the other side. Oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> yes, yes, I can see it. Uh, if you uh, write, it, it came to mind two things actually like be, people being rude to each other and animal cruelty so i put this in the same words i guess mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes and, uh, and gratitude i would say ah oh, that's ingratitude so there are things that makes us feel bad makes us feel angry uh, what are we doing about them we close our eyes, we close our ears. Uh, there are things we can do. And when we are in a group, there are many more things we can do. And um, one of the activities that we are very much into doing, uh, which can be a 45 minute activity or a six hour, uh, six months uh, project, um, is uh, creating a whole day that doesn't exist. But we um, always begin from this, I can't stand, uh, situation and um, because it, it all has to do uh, with doing and yeah, bringing out what we have uh, in our minds and what really doesn't make us feel good so um, if you could you could create propose something one world day that doesn't exist, well, at least you don't know it. That doesn't exist, sorry, I can't see well here. Um, which book that is? What we want? is the name, the name of the day, name, uh, date, for whom who would actually celebrate this, everyone or just a group, how, and mostly important, why. So we will try to, well, if we had more time, of course, that would be making a logo, making a poster, making a TV spot, uh, making this a whole campaign. We do this in uh, my school every year. And it's, I will tell you later uh, which World Day wins <laughs> because teams prepare their World Days, they present uh, them, and then we vote which World Day we would like to have as a campaign in our school. So let me tell this now. Uh, there are years uh, when we celebrate it, uh, one day without a mobile phone, it was Saturday. And then we asked everyone if how that went. But, there, the, but um, two years ago, uh, the Suvlaki day won. 
So everywhere in my school, there were posters with gyros and suvlaka. And uh, uh, Donaina, I suppose you know what suvlaka means. And, um, and uh, everything that had to do with tavernas and uh, stuff. And they were looking at me, the other, uh, some, <laughs> so what are you doing there? But I have promised kids that we would actually do this as a campaign. But it all uh, had to do also with uh, tourists, uh, let's say, uh, campaign. And it, it was okay at the end. So um, we can uh, really uh, make this as uh, big as we want to. Um, well, uh, we can we could do this uh, in groups, uh, but uh, in order to have more examples, uh, let's do this um, on our own. I don't know because I don't know if uh, uh, everyone is uh, up to um, working for about let's say five minutes. Let's give to this. It's ten thirty-two until ten forty. Uh, which day, when, for whom, how we would celebrate this, and why. Come on, let's do it. We don't have much time, but just to fill uh, with the activity and what uh, would this, um, how will this help us? Well, if you feel like it, you can draw that in a whole poster.
Okay, so if we're ready, let's uh, uh, begin our uh, presentations. So, uh, is everyone ready? Well, let's make this a uh, short presentation. So for uh, maybe one and a half minutes, it doesn't have to be uh, long. What we mostly want um, uh, to hear is the why, because when we actually give reasons, uh, the others are ready to uh, follow us if they agree uh, or don't follow us if they don't feel like it. So that's where uh, choosing the right words uh, comes uh, here. And also uh, choosing the, the way of uh, presenting something in a way that others want to listen. And that's what we generally do in um, our rhetorical clubs. It's about uh, knowing uh, that we actually know what we're saying and we're saying this in a way that others want to uh, follow, want to listen, us uh, talking more and describing what we want to say. So Maria, are you ready? I don't know if you can talk. I'm sorry, I got distracted uh, doing something okay, else. Okay. I will pass this one, okay? Yes, yes, no problem. Sorry, Maria. Okay. We want, uh, I wrote something, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, the National Day of Gratitude uh, on March 21st, not 2021, <laughs> the March 21st, every March 21st, when we have the same, what's like the day? The first day of spring, the first day of spring for nature and uh, how I uh, spend the day out uh, with our families, with our friends, uh, or alone. Uh, and why? Uh, we have to, because we have to show our gratitude to the nature about giving us everything. We cannot live. They have uh, our children, and we have to understand that we cannot live without nature and what nature is giving us. Uh, okay, it's. It, it, it seems given, but it's not. We're not thinking about it a lot in depth. And mostly, you know, uh, this is something that we have to do with my, our children. We have to point this to our students and our children. That's all, Valya. <laughs> yes, that would be a great day to celebrate and, uh, for everyone. And uh, I really liked what you said that um, it's it's about showing uh, gratitude and maybe if we show this to to, to the planet, uh, we will learn to show it um, between each other. Uh, great. Um, well, I have I myself uh, have um, written down uh, the World Day of uh, of Hugs and uh, hugging. Uh, Well, why should we have it? We should have it, I have written here, because uh, it's good for the health. It's uh, good for our um, whole way of uh, feeling. It makes us uh, being more optimist and uh, optimists. And it um, gives us the chance, actually, to come closer to, to other people. And people we don't see a lot, uh, people we have um, uh, many uh, uh, actually, uh, to um, uh, many days or years, maybe uh, to to see and meet. Um, uh, I would like this to be a day for uh, getting to know each other better, and um, exactly this coming closer. It's all about coming closer and uh, building bridges. When, where, uh, when, and where we think we have um, um, lost them. And uh, it's World Day of Hugs, Hugs, Hugging. <laughs> Great. And I don't know if, if this uh, exists, 
but I think this will be a day where everyone um, will hug someone that he or she really uh, misses and wants to come closer. And it's going to be on my birthday, the 9th of March. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Uh, someone else wants to share? Because after that, we will vote. I, I can share. Yes, Rolaina, we're listening. Yeah, I, I had many <laughs> different uh, thoughts in the beginning, but then I I decided to go for one and I think I would create the World Silence Day, mm. um, which would be a day where people don't talk at all and they communicate in different ways. So the idea is to encourage language expression in different ways. And, and I think that there shouldn't be a, day, a specific date for that. Each person should be able to choose their own day um, and say, I'm taking the world silence day today. And um, yeah, I think basically it'll be this one and to everyone to be able to express or to, and, and it's also is like there are people who can't express in a, in a verbal language. So I think it would be, we would, promote some kind of empathy for people who can't express in the most used language, I guess. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Same. thank you. That would be also a great, great day. So uh, we have hugs, we have um, um, the, the gratitude. silence, the, the grand, the, and the uh, gratitude uh, to the planet. Um, which one of the other days would you choose? Well, I would choose the gratitude day. I, I like both of them um, uh, because I really think it's uh, important that I, I, I think that there are many, I, I see many people uh, that uh, showing gratitude all around me. Uh, so maybe I would uh, vote for this day, but also I see people who talk without saying nothing. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so I'm uh, really in a dilemma, but it's okay. Uh, Ma uh, Maria? I will uh, vote for the silence day. Mm -hmm. It's a great idea. And uh, I was thinking a lot about it uh, these days. Uh, I have a bike, a motorbike that uh, makes too much noise. So I mm -hmm. decided to replace it with an electric one because of that. And I was it would be wonderful if every, everyone could have one electric because they, it's, they're not noisy at all. It's like a mm -hmm. bicycle. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Imagine if you see us without uh, only with electric cars and uh, <laughs> that would be great. So peaceful. No noise, no day without noise, nobody. Yeah, it'd be amazing. Yes. I, I, I like the idea of both great, great dude and hugs. Um, uh, the, the, I'm a huggy person. I'm from Brazil, so I hug everyone. But I ha lately I have come across, but I'm in Europe for about 15 years now, and people in here hug less than in my country. And, and uh, I I come across to people saying that they are very uncomfortable with hugs. People don't like it. So I don't think how these people would feel. That's why I. I, I have this conflict in my mind, but I, I am a hugger. I love it. I would go for that. But I have this conflict with people who don't necessarily like it, being touched. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, gratitude uh, is uh, something that I am always expressing my, uh, for everything. I see a flower, I'm grateful for this. So I think I would, I would really embrace that one too. <laughs> Great, great. Okay, we're we're keeping everything. We're keeping the good ideas, the ideas that um, make us feel colorful. Um, and um, this is the power of teams. And um, what we uh, we almost we always uh, try to um, bring forward is that by sharing, uh, we all become richer. Uh, 
uh, by giving and by taking from a team, um, we are all uh, ready to become, uh, to go on uh, with being active. Uh, if we were a, a team in the school or in a, any other community now, um, we, would, we could uh, begin a whole discussion about what we can actually do together as a team. Uh, it can all begin with an activity like this, uh, the whole days, um, but it's the most important is um, from knowing ourselves uh, and from uh, self-presenting ourselves and from knowing what we can do for our team and what the team can do for us, move forward uh, to realizing that all the things that are around us are things that we don't really like, things we can't stand. Uh, most of them are things that we can change. Um, little, uh, more, more, it doesn't matter, but we still can try. We can make an effort. And if we do this all together, this will be a much, much easier. And it's more and more possible that we will uh, make it. So um, in educating young citizens, uh, it's very important to bring forward the power of the team. Uh, but how can we do this as teachers or as parents? Uh, we have to be facilitators. We have to give psyche, as we say in, uh, uh, in, uh, in Greek. Um, that's um, making a, a whole atmosphere of um, active um, people, active members uh, that really feel like uh, not only sharing, uh, not only talking, but also doing. Um, well, I saw between us uh, uh, doers, and um, being a doer means, uh, above all, having an idea in your head that you really feel like making it happen. Well, if we make it happen with someone else, it's much more possible to really um, make it. So. Uh, we really, in our teams, we keep saying this, let's do this all together. We really feel like having the athletic spirit of um, athletic teams that in, in football, in basketball, uh, well, the greatest teams become champions um, most of the times. Uh, how do they do this? It's very, very uh, interesting to listen because kids know, uh, and we also know what makes a good team, but are we good team members, we, we can think about it. And by get, uh, bringing out what are our um, most, uh, let's say positive characteristics, uh, we will begin working in our negative ones. And it's all about becoming better. So the team has this power, and this is the power that we want, uh, if we want to uh, design programs that have to do with active citizenship. So it's all about um, making the team come together with activities that, uh, in which we get to know each other well. Um, it's also all about uh, getting together pe um, people that know uh, what they want to do, uh, which change they want to uh, bring out uh, to the world and do this. And it's all about uh, coming up with creative ideas and um, uh, being able, using also many, many techniques of uh, uh, group creative thinking, uh, being able to make these ideas happen. Um, we believe in the, the power of teams and uh, a, a teacher facilitator uh, should actually, uh, it's good, uh, it would be good for everyone if he or she um, could uh, make the team believe in its uh, value. So let's just close this uh, with um, bringing out uh, what does the word team means to us. Let's write uh, on the chat, in the chat or here, using our annotation tools, um, what the team means in three words to us. You can write this in the chat. And then we will 
share this with everyone. So I will begin and uh, feeling and gathering together things we said today, I would say that a team makes me feel free, makes me uh, feel uh, ready to give and uh, without thinking what I will get back. And above all, a team makes me uh, have the need to become better from uh, sharing what uh, what's the best thing about me but also uh, with uh, through trying uh, to ameliorate to become better in everything that someone else in my team uh, actually has uh, better than me um, well in that way i will be an active member and um, i will try to um, uh, get together everything that's uh, happening around me and make it feel uh, that's that it can really become uh, better and better. Aporva, welcome. You you wrote. You want to share what you wrote? Well, you said shared uh, laughter. Uh, hi. So, hi. Hi there. Welcome. Thank laughter, you. yes. Why is laughter very very important to teams? Yeah, so uh, I, I see how humor and fun binds people together and uh, and shared laughter is uh, has been, uh, you know, that adhesive that really brings uh, the team members together and, and it always uh, gives that sense to come back and always hope to laugh together. So I, I think shared laughter is very important for me uh, and how I see it that teams really need that. And uh, it's, it's, it's nice to have fun and laugh. Yes, yes, absolutely. Denaina. I, I wrote, I don't even remember. Um, it's called Folding Others' um, Weaknesses. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So we are all completely different, and this is a strength, but it's also a weakness. So if someone can help me to see something I can't see it because it has not been part of my reality, and vice versa, and, and for that we are together contributing to some some common goal. I think that's the three words I would choose, scaffolding others' weaknesses. Yes. <clears throat> and Maria? Uh, I wrote civic diligence, sharing, and being a human. Uh, without being a team member, uh, without feeling that you are, uh, you, that you belong in a, in a team, uh, you cannot feel how it is to be a human, I think, because of what, of course, the Naina said and the Purva and all of these. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I absolutely agree. So let's be humans. Let's be team members. Let's um, be uh, active citizens. It all becomes with a circle. It all begins with a circle and it all ends uh, in a circle. That's what teams are about. And um, I, even if we are not now in a circle, I really, really thank you for sharing your ideas, your thoughts and your uh, experiences uh, with us. And I really, really hope to see you live <laughs> um, uh, next year in the Summer Hill Festival. And um, Aporva and Janaina, why not here in Greece? Uh, Vaila, I you. just want to, th to thank you. Um, it was, uh, we had uh, this small group, but I really appreciate the talks. 
and you conducted very well your presentation and uh, uh, with so so much enthusiasm that uh, it's it's a great Saturday morning to start with. So I. I didn't put my camera because I don't look presentable, but uh, my picture okay. is much better at the moment. <laughs> but okay. yeah, I'm planning to be a summer here and I hope to see you all in person, have a good laugh and share and uh, have a great time. Yes, yes. Thank great, you. great, great. See you all. Thank you, Maro. Thank you, Maro, Maro for hosting us and for everything you're Thank doing you. for this wonderful festival. Great, great presentation, everyone. Valia. Thank you also. Thank you. Thank you. Maria, you're living in Athens? Yes, Marusi. Ah, Marusi, okay. <laughs> you're near. Okay, great. Uh, if you can send me all your, uh, well, we have um, uh, uh, ended this uh, uh, this workshop. So, if, Aporva, you are the next. Um, you are after. Uh, you you begin at eleven o'clock. Uh, no, I, I just came to uh, be part oh, you're of you for, for the next uh, workshop. Okay. Um, I, I, so I was hoping to join in earlier. So uh, the thing is, I'm joining from India. And, and it's really tough to figure out the timings and all. So uh, I'm just, I, I think it's all a hit and trial for me. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> I, I yeah, wanted to right. join this uh, your workshop at the beginning, but uh, I I got uh, here towards the end. So. <laughs> Great! You can send me here your email, and I will keep this. And bye bye, everyone. Thank you, thank you for everything.